Welcome to vlog number four of Bug on a Windshield. At one time or another, we have all experienced the bully. This is a person who habitually seeks to harm or intimidate those whom they perceive to be vulnerable. One thing I discovered is that the bully is actually a victim of being bullied themselves and often cruelly treated. Sometimes it's a parent, sometimes it's a, a sibling, but oftentimes it is somebody close to them who they really want to impress, but do not feel they have the tools to do so. Hi, I'm Mary Bourne, traditional naturopath. I love sharing natural remedies with people. I work on an eclectic approach <clears throat> to helping the body re re uh, regain balance. I have lots of videos on my YouTube about uh, health and herbs and uh, healthy eating. My main focus over the 40 years of uh, my practice has been emotional healing. And so I created Bug on a Windshield vlog because I feel that many of us have been distracted over the past two years or maybe more, and we've been inundated with misinformation. We've been led to believe that <clears throat> there are things that just simply don't make sense and they're trying to like shove it down our throat. Many of us have been bullied. We've been bullied into doing things that we don't feel are right, that they challenge our personal freedom, um, <clears throat> the freedom to speak the way we know is true. In my case, um, the freedom to speak about health and natural means has actually been criminalized by the Federal Trade Commission. We can no longer talk about <clears throat> what things will help to make you healthy. It's actually a ridiculous situation. So many people don't even know that there are options out there that we actually have a natural immune system that works to defend us. <clears throat> I feel that our immune system is part of this feeling of self-confidence. It is the I am system, the immune system. My faith in natural healing has been strong throughout all of these years because I've seen the results of it. Many people are disenchanted with the medical community, but don't know where to turn. Big Pharma has taken over the medical schools. The insurance companies have dictated what hospitals can do. And big tech have moved in to um, consolidate all of this and determine what information you should be privy to. Recognize this bullying for what it is. <clears throat> behavior from people who feel that they can intimidate you. These are the 1%. What we have to recognize is that we're the 99% that we have a strength behind us that they fear. So recognizing this bullying behavior is the first step. If you want to be intimidated, you want to go along to get along, that's, that's your point. But don't get angry because you're frustrated. You need to be able to do something about this situation. And that takes a little bit of self-confidence. It takes building up your reserve, so to speak. And that's getting up off the couch, doing, taking some martial arts, 
uh, eating healthy, cooking better, cooking at all. Some people don't even know what the kitchen's all about. So get involved in some health videos, some uh, nutritional cooking shows. Uh, I have a plethora of them that I uh, like to go to. In general, if we throw back our shoulders and act confident, I kind of like to picture what they recommend if you're confronted by a black bear, you make yourself as big as you can to intimidate the black bear. You don't cower inside yourself. You don't do what you think is going to please that bear. You have to face that bear head on, throw back your shoulders, take a deep breath and just dive in. And sometimes that takes courage. And the fact that we've been isolated and cut off from each other, told the distance and uh, feel so alone in all of this doesn't help. We need to connect with other people. We need to, that's another reason why I created this blog is so that you can connect with people who are also trying to get rid of the bugs on their windshield and start to look for the future that they want. Get rid of those bugs, no matter what they are, who they are, you need to get them off of your windshield. Don't let self-doubt be your bug on the windshield because bullies are very aware of your vulnerable areas. So what bugs do you wanna get rid of? How can you contribute to this community that is there for support and health? This is Dr. Mary for the health of it.